sweet. Welcome to the G Suite. Yeah. It's your boy NA Trey. I'm your host in the G Suite. We back up in here. You know, we elevate and we represent and elevate the bar for the culture. And today, welcome to the G Suite. You know what I'm saying? We got my partner, Exo Jedi. First, XO the first on Instagram. That's really the only social media I really got right now. But yeah, talk to him. Uh, hey, it's me. Uh, I'm in the belly of the beast. I'm somewhere deep in the ocean. Actually, I'm in your bitch belly. Showing that whole shit. Heard y'all boys ain't got no motion. So what's all the commotion? I just had to up my price. I just got a promotion. I stay down and I stay focused. I went up, they notice. I want some crackers playing goldfish. Eating goldfish. Swear y'all boys way too little. I'm way too soapy. I just whipped the baked potato. Bitch, I'm loaded like I'm Kimbo Slice. I beat the beat up, then I get up on it. Shout out Tino cooking up the beat. He did it with a bonnet. How you make this shit so nasty? Make you vomit. She said, Exo Jedi, you so stupid. I say, I'm retarded. I got shooters right behind me. Yes, they posted at the target. Use a target. Let's up be on high demand. I'm shutting down the market. I just showed up to the party. She said, Hey, boy, you so tall. Think I'm toxic, bitch. I'm chilling. She trying to get up in my drawers. I just hit her with these vans. Damn, they knocked it off the wall. She like a shark with her jaws. I done hit every bitch from A to Z with these dragon balls. Hey, uh, it's me. Uh, I'm in the belly of the beast. I'm swear deep in the ocean. Actually, I'm in your bitch belly. She on the whole shit. Heard your boys ain't got no motion. So what's all the commotion? I just had to up my price. I just got a promotion. Uh, I just folks notice. Uh, hey, I lost that shit, but yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> XO Jedi in the building. Yeah. Welcome to the G Suite. Who you got with you? Hey, my boy Cleto, 47 man. That's, that's my dog right there, my right hand man. Seven, man. You can find me on all digital platforms. We got some new music coming out here soon, too, man. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, tell them again one more time. Tell them again. Yeah, yeah. Tell them in the mic one more time. I got you, man. Kletho47, man. All digital platforms. You can find me, man. Kletho underscore 47. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Perfect. That's what we got in here. <laughs> Big money. Yeah, man. Hey, so Jedi. Me. Me so what, what was that right there? Man, that's, you just that's, that's, that, that's the little belly of the beast, man. That's gonna be on my next project, Soapy Soldier. Well, little Soapy, the Soapy Edition. You yeah. Know, the, the Soldier Edition, I mean, but yeah. Okay. It's gonna come out maybe next week, Wednesday. I'm still having a little, you know, a little, you know, date issue right now, but maybe next Wednesday. Okay. That's, okay. that's the best. So that's your first what what project is this? Is this uh, the first? Or you say XO the first. XO, XO the first, that's yeah. my that's my Instagram, but I mean okay. little Soapy, that's uh it's a little sequel from my, my first little Soapy, so this is Soapy 2. Okay. It's going to be the Soldier Edition. It was originally called Soapy Soldier, but, you know, I'm just going to go, you know, little Soapy 2. Okay. So, now, what's the inspiration behind the title? I mean, little Soapy. Little Soapy like a soldier. Little Soapy for the streets, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a lot of grimy shit, but I'm still keeping it fun at the same time, keeping it catchy, you know? That's okay. Me. Yeah, that's a bet. That's a bet. Mm-hmm. We'll be looking for it. So, you say maybe next week. So maybe not. Who's in control of that? Are you running running things on your side yeah, of the business? I'm, or I'm what? running things on my side. I was really shooting for my birthday on the 28th. Okay. But okay. the whole, you know, distribution thing wasn't trying to let me do that for some odd reason. But, I mean, they're going to they gonna drop it on the, either the 18th or the 19th, one of those okay. days. That's a bet. We're going to be on the lookout for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Definitely. So I got the pleasure of seeing you at the showcase. Uh, last what a few days ago, yeah. right? Yeah. You turn up on them, man. Yeah, man, you that was some, that was that was a lot of shit, man. That's the second time I seen you perform, hey, man. And like you, you bring a lot of energy to to your you know your performance, man. I try to, man. I used to be in like choir and theater, so I just okay. feel like that really plays a big part in that. You know, just trying to bring the people in, and you know, I see everyone else going. I mean, everybody's lit, but I just feel like I always got to, you know. Do some just one up somebody like like one time I was performing at fucking uh, downtown first Friday I seen some kids you know 
walking around, I'd have to use them for a prop, you know, make them make them be my little backup dancer. Yeah. You know, so I just, hey, that's real. Hey, you got to <laughs> you you see, man. I respect that you're resourceful. Mm-hmm. Resourceful. So you're not afraid to reach out to the public nah, man. and reach out to people. I, I noticed that in your performance, too, man. Like, you get out there and you interact with people. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. I, I look in your eye and yeah. I perform right to you, make it personal. Yeah, came out your shirt. <laughs> All that stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? I I didn't I didn't been there, you know what I'm saying? I tell myself I'm not gonna on. do that. I tell myself I'm not gonna do that, but it just it just happens naturally. Hey, it happens. Hey, I don't think nobody, you know, I wasn't hating, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, who I was there with was there with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody else might have been worried about it, but you know what I'm saying? You they you had the eyes on you, you know what I'm saying? The ladies checking you out. So, you know, that's that's the L L effect. You know oh, yeah. what I'm saying? That's LL, that's what man. it's part of hip hop, mm-hmm. you know, for real. So shoot, like, do you when it comes to your music, man? Do you make beats? Like, what do you do? do what? what? I, mean, I just started making beats. Like, okay. I've always been able to make melodies, but I really got into like drums. Like maybe mm. like October, I got really good with my drums. So I just been cooking up like my own beats, really. Okay. Like, me and my homie Tino, he'll come over and he'll help me if I don't know how to do some certain shit, and you know he'll put me on game and it'll just stick like that, and I just run off with it. Shout yeah. out Andretti, man. Yeah. Shout out Tino Andretti, man. Hey, y'all need goes. to get out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm That's that man right there. Y'all need some beats? Hit him up. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely, man. Plug his, uh, plug his Instagram, whatever. So uh, you know, Tino Andretti, eighty eight, right? Yeah, yeah, Tino yeah. yeah. Okay. Andretti, eighty eight. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check him out. See, mm-hmm. see. I'm always yeah, listening for new beats and stuff he, like he that. Solid. He got that smooth shit. He, any anything, really, man. So he did all the tracks that you perform. Uh, no, like, no, 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 no. I mean, I've I've done some myself too. Okay. But he's helped me on that 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 bill of the beats for sure. Gotcha. That right there is a, it's a bang. I'm, I can't wait till that come up. You know. Okay, okay. Now I see you iced out and everything. You, 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 you in the streets still? You, what, what, what's, 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 nah, what's, man. What's, I ain't, I ain't in the streets, man. Okay. We keeping everything clean of her. We yeah. Ain't gonna incriminate ourselves. On her. Yeah, that's, good. that's <laughs> real. That's real. That's a good answer. You know what I'm saying? That's wise wisdom, man. So, what what got you in the hip hop, man? What got you in the rap? Really, man. Uh, I was never really in it in high school. I was always that guy like, man, you make music. Mm-hmm. You got a SoundCloud. And I was I was one of those people at first, but uh, I had a homie back in high school. They was like underclassmen. Uh, I don't know if you know T-Baby, R.I.P. T-Baby, but they made, a, uh, they made a song called Summer No Bummer back in like, man. maybe uh, 2017, R-P-T, baby, man. 2018, some, somewhere around that time. And I remember I, slid, I slipped on the story, and I was like, hey, man, let me get on the song. I didn't even know how to rap at the time. And he was like, nah, with some like laughing emojis. And I was like, okay, we're gonna diss you. <laughs> <laughs> but it was all like it was all like a friendly diss. And I, I put it on my my story and everybody was like, Y'all finna diss him. And it, it just it just took off like like I was I was really just bullshitting, but everybody was expecting a diss. So mm-hmm. yeah, we had to come up with something. So it was like me and like five of the, my homeboys we got in my like my homie uh living room and I didn't know anything about music at the time. I recorded the beat off my laptop with my phone next to it, so it was all staticky and everything. And I pretty much like engineered the whole phone off, like off the whole song off my phone on hmm. GarageBand. Wow! And I mean, after we released it, it was it was all a joke, and I mean, it was you know the bullshit. It was it was ass. You know, some some punchlines in that motherfucker, but it did like what nineteen hundred in a day because everybody was just expecting it. Yeah. So I mean, after that, it was just it was fun. Like it didn't it happened on accident. So I just every day since 2017, you know, just going at it. Man, that's real. That's real. Mm-hmm. Every day since 2017. Every day, man. Every day. I got maybe over 1,300 songs. Not playing. No, Perfect. No, no jokes. Perfect. No, no jokes. Man. You say how many? 1,300. Oh, we gotta talk. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta talk. So what? So you unreleased songs. I mean, there's some out there released, but yeah, a lot okay. of a lot of songs in the but vault for sure. A lot of songs in the vault. I know the feeling because I got a man. I got too many songs in the mm-hmm. vault, um, so I, I can definitely understand that. But we, so now, are you getting in a, a cycle of releasing things, or what are you gonna do with with all that music? I mean, like, what's your plan? You don't got to tell me the master plan, you know. But like for the people that want to follow you from this point on, mm-hmm. like, what what can they expect? I mean, they can expect some more, some more videos for sure. That's okay. what that's what I've been lacking on. But okay. I mean, as far as like music, I've been dropping seriously since maybe like 2019. I was in a little uh, slut group, I guess. That's what we used to call ourselves. It didn't really have like a name. It was just my homie. He was hey just. Hey man, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta ring the bell on that. You was in the slut group. Hey 
Hey man, uh, my homie, my homie, uh, Tap Mark, man, he he just hey, we gonna call ourselves sluts. It didn't have no actual meaning to it, but we was in high school, we called ourselves sluts. So when we hey, that, using... there's a meaning to that word, you know that, right? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you know, there's a meaning to that word. I mean, we went, we went, we went doing all that. You know, we were saying now uh, we some cool dudes yeah, in high school. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 I'm not. Like I said, it's it's it's, it's a meaning to that word. So I mean, there was real games, so we called ourselves sluts. Sluts, I got you. I got you. Okay. Sluts with a, with a with a Z at the end. Yeah, I feel you. It got attention though, didn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It got a little attention. You know, we dropped we dropped a little, you know, some group songs on SoundCloud. You know, first starting off, and then once everyone else started, like you know, going off to college and pretty much doing, you know, pursuing their careers, I just feel like. Doing music every day, it was fun to me. I just felt like it was my purpose. Cause yeah. I, mean, I mean, you you go around people and they just be like, man, you, you sound like somebody. Especially like when I f did my actual first single in the studio, I went to work and I was showing my coworkers. These like some 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 older people and they was telling me like you sound commercial and I didn't know what they meant by that. Mm. And I was like, you sound like you, sh you can be on the radio. And after you know they told me that, I just I just tried to you know I ran with it. You know I always try to make myself sound you know professional i mean you listen to music so you should always know what music sound like you should know what good music sound like yeah. you listen to music like yeah. i was i'm never the type of person to drop some some bullshit because i know what music should sound like you know mm -hmm. so so you speaking of radio have you been on the radio before have i been have you ever had a, a song played on the radio i mean i might have had you know some songs on some uh i don't think so okay Cause I, I might be on a few Spotify playlists, but I don't think okay. that counts like as you know radio. No, not I mean like syndicated radio, nah. where like yeah. So but I okay. feel like since I've had my I've had my own beats now, I mean I feel like I can now. So is yeah. would that be a goal that you would want oh, yeah. to accomplish? Most okay, because it's definitely doable these days. Oh you know? yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's all about who you know, and how well you know them, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, our last guest that was up here. Yeah, I seen that. So, <laughs> shouts out to Ariel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, man, she's plugged in. So that's definitely if you got if people are telling you you got a commercial sound already, you know, that's something that might be a lane you can explore. Mm -hmm. Because everybody's different in hip hop, man. That's the that's the beauty of it. Everybody has a different story. Uh, everybody's down flavor. They should anyway. Right. Yeah. You know, if you respect that. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like now. Um, when it when it comes to writing, do you freestyle? You write what you like to do, uh, like as I far stopped, as the art of music. I stopped writing the end of twenty twenty because I mean the producer, well, not producer, the engineer we was going to, he pretty much kind of. I don't know if it was like situations with the building or anything, but he just kind of went ghost on us, and mm -hmm. it pretty much just stopped everything we was doing so I couldn't I couldn't really write anymore. I mean I could write but it was just it was just sitting on my phone. So gotcha. I just had to like pretty much invest in my own, you know, studio and I ain't gonna lie, like sitting in front of the mic and writing this that wasn't it for me because I mean I'm on my own time so I just felt like it was time for me to actually yeah. like say what I felt and I felt like actually freestyling I could ride Perfect. the beat naturally and how I'm supposed to, you know, instead of me writing something down and then going to the studio and it's not coming out how it was in my head. You yeah. Know? I feel that 100%. Yep, that's real. That's real right there. Mm -hmm. um, to be able to have that creative space where you can do that, that brings out a whole nother animal. A whole nother animal. I'd be having fun, <laughs> man. I don't, I'd be having fun changing my voice up and now, guys. You know, yeah. you know. So you a one-man show when one it man. comes to all that. One-man show, man. Top of the bottom. I got you. So what What do you feel like um, is is – the most G quality about you when you when you talk about it as an artist like that stands out to people. What would you say is the most G shit that you, that you represent, EXO? I mean, I'm open. I'm open to anything. Like I, I like going places. Like say I go to like a like a a rock punk place. Everybody wearing platforms, all black. I can go in there and tell them I got music for you too. Mm. It ain't anywhere. And I do country rock, anything. Mm. Rap. Like I can go to the streets. And I do music for y'all too. Like hey, I do it all. I'm open to anything. Perfect. Yeah. I don't have a filter. Yeah. Anything. Anything. Okay. So versatility. Hey, that's, that's a word I would I would put on that. You know what I'm saying? What you just said, Mr. versatility, versatile, man. Yeah. Mr. Versatile, man. Yeah. What? Mr. Versatile. Well, what about you, Cleto? <laughs> Talk to him. She, man. To be honest, that communication. Okay. Communication, like, and I, and honestly, if it if it comes back to that that trait, like, what's that trait? It's just the the trait of just being real. 
and like even if it takes you to an embarrassing place, even take you to an awkward place, like just being real. And no matter how uncomfortable it is, that shit usually gets you to the other side. Mm-hmm. Pretty cordial, pretty smooth, and like mm. you learn that shit. It's life lived. It ain't you know you don't figure shit out like that, you know. But when you have people around you who who want to be real, who want to you know operate in realness and G and G shit. Mm-hmm. To me, man, that's all you need, bro. And like that's why we locked in. He he he's just told you all of his spill. It's an individual, bro. He cooking. He taking care of all of his shit, bro. And mm. then as a homie, I'm trying to do my best to do the same. We come together, bro. Now we got shit that we can bring to the table, and now we can promote that even further. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that, to me, bro, that's bottom line with this shit. It's finding people who really want to work for themselves. Then you can work with them. You can, like it's the difference between employees. Mean what you say. Say that again. <laughs> man. You say finding people that want to work for who? Themselves. For themselves, man. And then doing what? Build and, it with them, bro. Build, them, man. build it with what? them. Because there's, there's a difference between an employee mindset and a business owner mindset, bro. And at this time, at this point in my life, man, it's like it's getting it's getting pretty fork in the road, if that makes sense. Like you either going to find people who are going to want to build something for themselves or you can find people. And forgive me for saying it, look, everyone got their place mm. in the world, and I love it, and I thank God for it. Yeah. But I want to rock with the ones who are trying to make some shit shape. Man, I, and I, and the build off of that. So I've been I've seen y'all out. You know what I'm saying, and both of y'all are genuine, man. Oh yeah. Because it's a certain characteristic that comes with like knowing who like you are when you get there. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like you can tell when I met y'all, y'all already knew who y'all was. Y'all not there to be wavered. Not there to be mixed in with anybody else. You know who you are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. And, like, you're supposed to know who you are before you get there, man. And y'all do. I can tell that. You know what I'm saying? So, definitely, I can say that's some G shit. You know what I'm saying? By both of y'all. You know appreciate what I'm it, man. So, Receive it, man. Yeah, hey, it's, always, it's always love up here. A hundred percent. Likewise, always, man. Likewise. So, definitely, oh, yeah. man. Uh, and I'm going to clap for that. <laughs> I'm going to clap for that. Now, some un shit that's going on out here, man. Like, no, none of us are larger than life. Mm-hmm. And, like, bro, what's going on with it? Like, you see all the... Is there a gun problem, bro? Is there a gun problem? Is there a gun problem? We, or is it a people problem? It's definitely yeah, a people it, problem. It might, it might be a people problem for real. You know, I feel like the wrong people be having guns. You know, especially, you know, you got kids. Like, we just seen some shit on social media about what some six year old shooting a teacher. Yeah. That don't make no sense, man. How does six year old know how to operate that? To me, to me, honestly, though, to take it on a level, I heard it. It was, a, it was like, uh, I don't know. I guess it's a little parable. It's a little funny thing, but it said Cain killed Cain, a bad man, right? Killed a good man with a rock. And then you got what was homie's name? Goliath. What was uh, David and Goliath? Then you got a good man killed a bad man with a rock. And in my opinion, it's not about the rock. The rock is the gun. Like, I don't even know if I need to break that down. If it's understood, it's understood. But like the rock is the rock. The knife's a knife, the gun's a gun, but it's the individual behind it. And in my opinion, if we're going to talk about the gun stuff, bro, that's Second Amendment, bro. First Amendment. Second Amendment. I don't know my amendments. I need to learn it better. But you <laughs> feel me? It's, it's important. It's really, really important we educate ourselves and understand why that's even a thing. Honestly. Honestly, because, yeah, it gets into some interesting, interesting topics. Because it goes into, you know, why? Why would why would that even be an issue? Why, why would that be a thing to take away? Mm-hmm. What's that? What's the mission behind that? That's that's a whole nother <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> whole nother whole nother tangent you can go down mm-hmm. because um yeah, there people have agendas. People have conspired before. You know, like people say theories, but like the theory is like that they, they probably are conspiring about. It's what are they conspiring, not if right. they are. Right. You know, what are they conspiring about? Right. You know, that's when you talk about conspiracy theory. You got to think about the theory is what are they conspiring about? Because people conspire every day. Mm-hmm. Thanks. We're conspiring right now. Right now. Yeah. You get know what I'm saying? So it's not the word that you need to be worried about and focused on. Right. It's you, <laughs> the fact somebody making you look at that word and focus on that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> is what you need yeah. to be worried about. You're completely. You know like, what I'm saying? Like Missing the whole point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When people, people love to argue about yeah. the most tiniest details mm-hmm. when there's like, that's what they want. They want that division. And to bring it back into the, to the spill, it's like, Unity, man. We're focused. Like, I don't want to be cheesy and say community and shit, but like, hmm. it really is about that, man. It's it about is. the family, man. My grandma was just telling me about that, man. Like, I appreciate you. Well, perfect. Yeah. 
But she was telling me the importance of shouts out to to Willa. To Willa. Yeah. Shout out to Willa, man. Love, oh, I, I know how to pronounce it. Pronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She she said it's important that we we carry on that. It, it, I don't even use the word tradition, but like mm-hmm. when I grew up, we grew up with family. You know, every weekend we're getting together and it's family. And then some change, some happened to where we all divided. Now everyone's doing their own little spiel. Mm. But it's deeper than the family because family don't matter about the blood, bro. It don't. It don't. It really don't. Jedi, my brother. Mm-hmm. Different mm. mother, though. And mm. a different pops. But that's my brother. Yeah. That's real spill right there. Man, I'm a, welcome. Oh, to welcome the to G the G Suite. We keep it real up in here, man. Oh, we bro. keep it G. And like you heard him right now. I don't care where you're watching from. It's a lot of different... Um, perspectives and approaches to to cultures and ethnicities and boundaries and stuff like that. Right. But we blessed to grow up in Texas. Right. Where, you know, I've been out to LA. It's a little different out there. Right. Okay. And you respect where you at. Mm-hmm. Right. Because you're not gonna go in there and create no ripple effect. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Pac didn't make it out there. You know what I'm saying? But like you gotta respect where you're at. But here we have a different, you know, way of, of living in perspective and how we walk amongst each other, man. And, like, I, I got to say, man, we, we bless, you know what I'm saying, because it's created opportunities mm-hmm. that would not have, you know, existed any other way in other places. You know, so I respect what y'all saying by saying y'all brothers, man. That's some real shit. Hey, man. Facts. Biological, man. What the fuck are you talking about? We, <laughs> you do got the same mom and dad. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's real, man. That's real. So y'all making music? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got a little little, little RTTT joint coming okay. out pretty soon. Yeah, okay. that, hey, that martini need to come out too, yeah. man. Hey man, we got we got some shit coming, man, yeah, man. for real. Yeah, so I heard the bangers when you was performing too, mm-hmm. man. So hey, you got some. Appreciate it, bro. You got much some. Appreciate it. The tracks, man. I can tell you, you pick your own beats. Yes, sir. He, oh, yeah. Tino. Yeah. Tino. T- hey, yo, and that's another thing, man. Okay. Tino Andretti, he, he's going to be the one working it's on the name again. Tape. For real. Hey, lock hey. in. If y'all ain't locked in, bro, y'all yeah. missing out. Tino Andretti. No hype. Hey, they got love for you, Tino, because they, they up here, you know what I'm saying? They Tino should have been here. Yeah, yeah. No key. Tino should have been here. But, shoot, we, hey, we ain't going nowhere. Facts. We ain't going nowhere. We stand on everything that's G, man. And yeah, yeah. we want to make sure that we represent that with y'all. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Because, um, Time is all we got, man. And, and you got people doing stupid stuff like, once again, back to the guns. I think it's the people because the gun, man, is just like I was saying. Who was I? Man, I was talking to somebody. The gun is, it has a kill switch on it. Mm-hmm. The trigger is in your mind. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So anybody, there was a quote when I used to work at the dealership, man, and it was on the wall, and it said, he who angers you conquers you. Mm. Yep, never let another man take man, I'm glad. I'm glad I read that. Yeah. Because I, I ain't gonna lie, I've been conquered a few times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's people that made me mad in the mud. Keep it a G, keep it a G, yeah. I mean, I I you know, yeah. um, but I also knew uh but that, they got you. Mm-hmm. They they moving you now. Mm-hmm. They moving they you know control over you. They moving you. You had control over over you. Your Your operation, right? The whole function operation. But now since you got triggered. They got control over you. Yep. And I can, man, just some of the things they say people shooting people over, man, it's crazy, man. Like, yeah. People just saying something to somebody now. And the first thing people want to do is go get get strapped. Mm-hmm. Shoot, man, I hit dying over vagina. <laughs> For real, too. Hey, man. <laughs> That's a different conversation right hey. there. I'm looking. I'm looking. Hey, yo, y'all listening. I don't know if they listening, man. That's, that's the, kill that's some, some, some cat. Some cat, man. So, Come on. so, so elaborate on that, man. You, you don't think it's so. Mm, if, if a man, let's say you standing in line right now, okay, and it's your wife, y'all, y'all in line at the movies, and somebody come up, move, bitch, and just push her, and like move her out the way. What you gonna do? I mean, Are you gonna? Ant- I don't need not knowing who it is yet. Yeah, yeah. Point, that a, point right there. You turn good, around. That's a good one. What are you gonna do? I mean, How, what's your thought process? If he, if he putting his hands on my girl, you know, we together. And, you know, I'm gonna have to, you know, put my hands on them too. But I ain't, I ain't finna go as far right. as you know, killing them and right. all that right. type of mm-hmm. shit. Because I mean, I do enjoy my freedom. I got you. Yeah. I got you. That's, that's, that's I think, not gonna hold up in law, man. That's not yeah, gonna hold up yeah. in court, man. I think in a situation like that, yeah, 
Yeah, I'm probably I, I agree with you. It's yeah. just natural instinct. Yeah. Somebody can put their hands on. Now let's say he don't touch her. Let's say he come. You know, you walk up. Y'all bitches move. And he talking to you and her. Nah, bro. <laughs> no, nah, for real. It's really I it's funny. I was just talking to my gal about this earlier. It's like uh, it ain't someone, funny though. It ain't funny. I'm gonna get back serious. What was you saying? It was it was a conversation we had earlier where it's like it's just a look. Like, I don't know, for me it's a look. There's there's certain times for word exchange, there's certain times for physical exchange, there's certain times for just a look. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like for me and my type of demeanor, I I'm I'm a very, you know, nice Genuine, like I, I like the words you use, genuine man, because it is. It's just genuine. I'm gonna be. I, I try I'm to hold real. frame. Yeah. You know, try to hold frame. I'm let, mm. letting that shit get into me. No, ain't doing that. Right. See, I, I respect the fact both of y'all you talking about using your mind. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Using your brain first. You know what I'm saying? Which is the greatest gift you got. Hey, you I, I'm saying I, I learned how to play chess. You got maybe not too long ago, and after playing chess, that really made me think a lot of shit up. Hey, for real. Yeah. Hey, my. Hey, yeah. hey, what they say is more than one way to skin a cat, no, man. And, and every dog has his day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's one of the reasons why you have to have respect for people out here. And I think the gun allows for people to walk around and just not have respect. They don't have to, you know, because they feel like that's just a, that a quick power. way. Mm-hmm. At, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like, I don't have to use none of my brain. I don't have to, you know, even have respect for themselves because you don't know. You pull a gun, you may not be the best shot. Mm-hmm. You may not be the first shot. You might not be the last. You know what I'm saying? Like it. That's what people don't think about when they get triggered. You know what I'm saying? So oh, they go out the the, yeah. the word in my mind is uh, <laughs> emotional stability. Mm, stability, man. Perfect. Yeah. That word came to my mind earlier, and I I lost it, but you picked it up. You said stability. Yes, sir. That, yes, sir. The, the, the ability to be stable. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. It's, it's, it's an yeah. understatement, man. Emotional yeah. stability, man. Just Google that word and all the mm. research. Just go read. Just go read for a little bit. Emotional mm. stability. Read. Just say it last time, third time. That's it. Yeah. Real, though, man. I, there's a book from uh, Harvard Business School, and uh, it's called Emotional Intelligence. It's a series, and they have one on empathy. They have one over... Uh, authentic leadership, uh-huh. just shit that we need to know just as individuals, bro. It don't matter what position you're in, where you're at, what you're working, bro. Like, if you have McDonald's and you're a manager, mm-hmm. you need to know how to, like, bring the best out of people in the right ways. Please, dude. Because there's people who depend on you to serve them the mm-hmm. quality nah, for meals that they gonna need. No, facts, bro. And, facts. And, like, facts. <laughs> that's not underrated at all. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I, man. man, people, I'm gonna tell you what, I done lost some friends behind, not to go off, but People go to restaurants, man. You better eat right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You better act right. You come with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ain't going to be none of this clown in the way there. No, nah, no. Man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Man, we can't. I can't eat with you no more. Because I worked in the restaurant before, no, you know, back in the day. You don't, you don't mess with people messing with your food, bro. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like, I'm you sitting here about thinking it. about it for real. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, nah, man. Hey, bro, like, look. All they they bring in that polite. plate. Yeah, they bring in that plate to you. Yeah. You don't know where that back room where they at, man. You no. Be shit. polite. Yes, sir. No, you know sir. Yes, man, no in man. the South, that's how we do it. I, right. I respect and I won't respect back. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Nah, I'm going to acknowledge that by giving you probably a good little tip. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that's it. if you don't, you know what I'm saying? If I don't get no refills, Probably just not gonna get a tip. I'm not gonna go off on you though. Oh, yeah. Because I don't want the refill after I go off on you. <laughs> I'm ready to get the check. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at that point, which, but at that same point, I'm not trying to be conquered in my meal. So I'm gonna be chill. Mm. Damn, you know what I'm right saying? Right back. Right, no, for real. I'm gonna be chill. Because guess what? I don't know what they're going through. You don't. You know what I'm saying? They might need to get up and go jam some Exo Jedi. You know what I'm saying? They do. They do. <laughs> That's what they, they need, need to that, do. You know? That's have what they need to do. So you got music streaming right now, right? Oh, yeah. So what? Uh, give me three songs right now that you could tell people to go stream Man. right now after they get through watching this interview. Add to their playlist. Man, go hear that. That, that Go listen to that what? Yeah. Perfect. Man, hold up. Hold up. That what? That what? You performed that the other night. Man, I hey, that was that was I jamming. I ain't, ain't performing. You didn't, you didn't. I man, you that, that's, hold that's, up, hold up. That's, that's one of my my like my closes. But I mean, I just okay. feel like I, everything I did was unreleased. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. What is this? Okay. I feel like that's too cliche. I heard thing. what before. He's, he yeah. started it I with what? what? Yeah, I, I, I made everyone say what, and then I was like, yeah, I ain't gonna yeah. do that song. That's what it was. <laughs> okay, okay. I ain't so, even got to perform it. I made him say it. So we got what? What's the next one? 
<laughs> I say what? I hear voices. Cause that's 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 Ooh, that's, 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 that's that's whenever I really started to experiment with my voice and tried to like you know change it up and do shit yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. So you know, being fun and out right now. That's a lot of songs they think to hear. Uh, yeah, give me one more. That's it. One more. What's up, that new tape, bro? That new tape is it called EXO Jedi? Like, there's a song called EXO Jedi on the new tape. Yeah. To. Or like something that's already like out. Yeah, something's already out. Oh, uh, Mr. Jedi. Mr. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Mi- Jedi. Mr. Jedi. Perfect. Mr. Jedi. Okay. Just so need to find that one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's that's off that uh sorry I'm just rambling tape. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So I'm trying to pull it up right now. I don't know why my signal is tripping in here. We're gonna have to get on and pee about this Wi Fi up in here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah man shouts out to P and G K Studios man we make it happen um definitely man it's been like bro y'all didn't bring me no La Marita though that's the only thing I was soft to about man <laughs> my bad man hey, hey man, I, I was stuck on. in traffic I was trying to get here man y'all didn't bring me no La Marita but I still got love they didn't put all these new medians in the middle of the road it was so hard man, man. fuck those medias in Texas bro man. I'm what sorry what are they doing man. now I don't understand I don't know man I think it's for the racers man I'm not gonna lie to you I've definitely Never mind. Nah, you good. Man, we, you good. We you done good. Don- we've done donuts it's, on Texas. It's, it's, we've definitely done them, and they definitely yeah. put the medians up. Yeah. I don't think they, they they putting up with that shit no more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you good. We not we not finna. Yeah. <laughs> it was just some bad drivers. Listen, yeah, it and, wasn't me. You no, know, it, it wasn't was none of nobody in here. My biscuit hey, was driving. Him, <laughs> him and that SRTT. Hey. <laughs> hey, 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 he always ready to. <laughs> anywhere we go, we be at the stoplight. <laughs> plug plug your socials again for him, Exo. Hey, Exo the first on Instagram. It's Exo D A one S T. Exo the first. Perfect. Kletho forty seven man. All digital platforms. C L E T O underscore forty seven man. Tap in. Kletho forty seven. And that's Exo Jedi. Exo Jedi. All platforms. Hey, y'all gonna be back at the uh, G Suite eventually. Oh yes. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have to chop it up again. Oh, oh yeah. We're gonna okay. switch chairs next time. Hey, you know what I'm saying? But also, y'all gonna be back at the showcase. We're gonna, we're gonna, so we're gonna keep running that, man. Yeah, you know y'all, y'all doing that. Let's see, the G Suite is bringing the artist showcase with our DJ G, DJ J Smith. Yeah, shout out to Bud J on Smith. On Wednesday man. nights up at Commander's Cove, on oh, 215 up. University Drive. I'm telling you, if y'all ain't come to the first two, when we pull up, man, this next one gonna be lit. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna be bringing artists back. Uh, but we also gonna be bringing some headliners too. We are gonna be doing some premium showcases, so nice. y'all make sure y'all tap in with that. And P gonna make every, everything look right. I'm gonna keep my shirt on this time. <laughs> <laughs> do, your, do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing. But like, yeah, y'all make sure y'all tap in with that. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe, share, uh, man, follow G Suite 707 on Instagram. Do that. Do make that. sure y'all do that right now. Yes, uh, share this, man. We doing this for the culture. And as you can see, we elevating and we raising the bar. You know what I'm saying? So, sure. XO Jedi, Kletho 47. I'm your host, N.A. Trey. We're at the G Suite. What's up, P? We out. Hey, hey, hey. Before Hold we up. go. Before we go. Hold up. We ain't out. Before, y'all, before we go, make sure y'all get that little Soapy 2 next week. It's coming. Get it. <laughs> little Soapy 2. Come on. Y'all make sure y'all get that. Now, XO Jedi, Kletho 47. I'm your host, N.A. Trey. What's up, P? One more time. And now we out. Peace. Welcome to the G Suite.